So, it's a nice relaxing Sunday. I hope you're all having a relaxing Sunday. I'm just relaxing here on my sofa. Nice comfy sofa. Looks like it's a bluey teal sofa, probably covered in dust, but it doesn't matter. I don't care. And uh, just making this video really just to sort of summarize what this channel is going to be. And it's mainly going to be Linux, the operating system. If you have no idea what I'm saying, it's pretty much going to be the operating system of your computer that I'm going to be looking at and mainly Linux and there's plenty of reasons why that it needs to be looked at is because the way I do it is a lot different from other people and a lot of the other videos you'll probably see out there are mainly distribution videos and desktop environment videos and the way I do it is somewhat different not absolutely different but uh, well, the easiest way is to show you. I will probably cover some other things, maybe film, I don't know, maybe something else, but probably mainly be Linux. Anyway, I guess this will be the point to say, put your comment in the video, tell me what you think. But no, I'm not gonna do that because that's stupid. So, I want to show you what I use, and this is important because Windows 11 now limiting what you can use for your computer if you haven't got anything older than 2015 i think you basically can't use windows it's not necessarily a bad thing in my mind because it gives you the opportunity to try out linux and the way i do it and what i use are thinkpads and this one here that's probably well out of focus but i'm not gonna put it in focus this one here is really your last good ThinkPad, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm not gonna go into all the details why, but basically this is like 15 years old, but it's running Linux. As you can see, this is the terminal screen at the moment, and that's what I use, the terminal screen. You don't need a desktop environment. Most of the stuff I do, is in this and I've made my own little program that automates lots of things you can see it here probably out of focus but we don't need to worry about that all these different things here are all the kind of things you do in a desktop environment and it's simple it's not a problem at all and it took time to do this but this computer is 14 years old. If I go back into this system monitor, it's using 100 megabytes. CPU is almost nothing. Now, if you're using Windows 10 or 11, you're looking at what, 4 gigabytes even to start it up. Now, it might not matter if you've got a brand new computer. It might not matter if you just want to spend an infinite amount of money every few years and not worry that you're not going to be able to use the next version of Windows. That's fine. But more to it than that. With Windows you can't do the things you can do with Linux. You can't have absolute control that you have control with Linux. If you do something very specific, like I write screenplays and things like this, there's certain tools and certain options I can't do if I want the environment to look like a certain way, you know, whether it's a desktop environment or I mean this is important to distinguish that I'm not even using a desktop environment here. This is a terminal literally not even with a graphical user interface. Now I use a graphical user interface for like web browsing, but I don't even want to do that. But So this is the my main personal computer. Again, I can go into another time why this is one of the last good ThinkPads. And then I've got another one, same version here, that is really what I'm going to use for videos. This is my testing. This is what I'm going to use to show you how to look up how to do things. Not particularly interesting in that self, it's ultimately what you're going to do with it. What I'm going to do with it isn't going to be exactly what you're going to do with yours, but what I'm going to do is give you the opportunity to build a system that's right for you, using all the stuff that you want 
and none of the stuff that you don't. The options you don't get with Windows or Mac. You will have complete control. And I'm going to help you get there. Hopefully. If I last. If you last, I don't know. Anyway, none of it really matters. It's not a big deal. So I'll be installing probably my next video. Linux, and it will be a distribution called Arch. I said I don't use distributions, but Arch is just a compilation of packages. That means you've got a base system install. Linux is just a kernel. Again, this might be completely alien to you. Probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but don't worry. Just bear with me. You'll see in the next video. It's a lot simpler than it sounds. You really don't need to worry about this stuff. You just need to get you the base installed. I'm probably going to make mistakes and so on. It's a long time since I've installed an operating system. Well, kind of. In this fa fashion, if you make a mistake, we can fix after. I can fix my mistakes after. It really doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Besides, it's Sunday. Being Sunday, do something better anyway than watching this video. Don't watch YouTube. Don't watch a load of YouTube stuff. You just relax now on your Sunday. You know. Although, of course, this probably won't be uploaded on Sunday. So, if you watch any other day of the week, just do the same thing. Just relax. It's not a big deal. And installing Arch Linux isn't a big deal. Some people make it out to be. What I'm doing isn't a big deal. Again, your personal computer, it shouldn't be the big deal. When you're at work, you've got to use your computer all day, you've got to do all these things. All you need to do is just do stuff. It breaks, fix it, have it how you want it. It takes time. But again, these things really don't matter like some people think they do. And once you've got it for yourself, then it's just maintaining it. It's gonna take time, I know. Anyway, I'm going on way too long now, but that's pretty much it. So I guess I should do the YouTube thing now. Like, subscribe, comment. Only joking. Don't bother doing that. It's a waste of time. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, whatever day it is you're watching this. Be with your family. Have a good time. Don't worry about this stuff. It really doesn't matter. If you want to have a relaxed, cozy install of Linux because you want to try it because your computer will not run Windows 11 in the next year when you can't update Windows 10 or you just want to try it and you want more control over what you're doing and you don't want to have to rely on these companies I don't know maybe I'm just prattling on now maybe I'll talk about stuff more in the future anyway it really doesn't matter like I said so you probably switched off now anyway that's fine I don't care anyway stick around for the next video might come in a week might come sooner i'll just make these when i want really and uh, hopefully it's useful anyway see you next time